I don't know that I personally thought we'd ever be seeing a movie about a real life Buzz Lightyear. What do you expect? Real life Slinky Dog? That'd be a bit of a stretch. Welcome back to I2I, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle. And my name is Jessica. And before we get started tonight, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. This is another edition of Disney Through Our Eyes, where we talk about something in the Disney sphere, movie, parks, all the stuff that's on our minds right now, and just discuss it, riff about it discuss it, argue about it, usually a lot of arguing. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious what we're talking about based on what we're wearing. The elephant in the room. We've discussed this on our live show, on a trailer reaction we just got done, and it's up now, which is kind of what sparked this conversation. Buzz Lightyear, or Lightyear, the new movie, is coming out. So we yes. obviously had to wear something Toy Story, even though it's not Toy Story really related. And it's random that we both have the shirt, so... Here oh, we are. Didn't I have this shirt first and you got one for yourself? Yep, because I forgot that you had it and I thought it was a cool shirt and then here and then we are. And you discovered it's like the softest shirt ever. Quite literally. Like, like, I would wear this shirt all the time if I could. That's weird. I don't oh, know why I'm doing I don't know why okay, I'm doing that on camera. That's weird that's anyway. Enough. That's enough. So with the topic of the Buzz Lightyear trailer reaction we just did. So go check that out if you haven't. Usually we have a lot of fun with those. So hope you'll check the video out if you can. I thought it'd be a good topic for us to talk about this idea of Pixar spinoffs, just, yep. just in the Pixar yep. realm, you know, because this is not about Toy Story, the char those characters, no, but... it's just about this character's origin story. Right, where the idea for the toy came from within that world. So it is a spinoff, but it's like a more unique take on a spinoff, yep. where they went somewhere completely... It's not like they said, hey, Buzz, go off on your own adventure, you know, type of thing. Right. Would you even call it Toy Story at that point if it was just no, Buzz? No, it's not Toy Story. I think you'd have to, like name it like Buzz's Toy Adventure or something like that. That would be stupid. It would probably be very stupid. So no. Do you like that the, this new concept of what they're doing? I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it at all. Honestly, I think it's a really good concept to take a character that we already love, learn more about him. It's kind of like the Han Solo thing. You know, we got Solo from Star Wars. Well, we, that, yeah. I, I mean, truthfully, like, they're, they're redoing what we already have, but at the same time, it's giving us more background. I wouldn't say they're redoing it. I would say they are expanding upon it. And okay. I think that's what you were saying with Han Solo. But it's still even different from that because that is taking a character we knew had a past. Like, we didn't know... Obviously, the, Buzz Lightyear had a past. But we no, just we thought it was in a box. Well, the toy had a past. But we didn't know that the toy was right, actually right. based on a real life here. I'm sure there's some reference obscure. All the people that scour the movies on here are probably saying, yes, there was. There's a reference to the right. real hero. Uh, the first movie at minute 42 and 37 seconds. Probably true. But we don't know that. So we didn't. And most things in our life have some basis off of some form yes. of reality. You know, I mean, that's G.I. Joe's came out because of, you know, the army and stuff like that. Like that's right. kind of where that vein comes from. But with that concept and us seeing it's an interesting route to take, I thought it'd be fun to maybe discuss some other characters they could use in spinoffs. And, you know, let's not make it easy like, let's, like I said, Buzz going off on a different toy this adventure. Is, I swear, if you take mine, I'm going to make You know exactly where we're going with the first one. Going? There's an obvious choice for another. I want you to do yours first. No, what's the obvious choice? You're going. Woody. That's um, the first that's, choice. No. But you hate Woody, first of all. I do. <laughs> I think he's a trash character, and I don't like him. You. And that's a very unpopular to... opinion. Team Buzz all the way. I am a Team Buzz and Woody because they are I used to like best Woody, together. and then I started watching Toy Story as an adult and We're realized... We're not going to have this debate Woody again. Woody sucks. We're not going to have this debate And he's bossy, and he's rude, and nobody likes him. You, we, I think we... I don't know if it was a Disney Through Our Eyes episode, but it was some video we did a long time ago where you just lamented the fact that you hate Buddy so much. Buddy. buddy, not Buddy. Woody, excuse me. Who's Buddy? Uh, buddy. Buddy the Elf. <laughs> not Disney okay. related, but I think Woody is the is the logical place you go next after this. No, because, nope. No, hold on, nope. listen, 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 listen. Mm -hmm. If this works and if it's as popular as people maybe expect it to be. That's a logical place. You tell Buzz's origin story, then you tell the story of no. where the toy for Woody came but from listen, next. No, in the better. Wild West, in a Disney Pixar film, you're telling me that's not fire? I just hit the desk and it hurt? Yeah, it that's like how it fired hurt. up I am for that. No. You know what's better than that? What? Tomater. You don't want a Larry the Cable Guy origin story. 
about how that little truck okay, but ended again, up where he is. But see, that's you're missing the point there because that's we're not talking about spinoffs where you just take the character as is. I, I'm not taking him as is. Obviously, Mater used to be a truck that looked real nice and wasn't rusted and broken down. He used to be cream of the crop. Right. He was top dog. We got to know what brought him down. You're, you're still missing the point. We're, we're not mm -hmm. talking about expanding on their story. We're talking about taking the character and doing a different take on it, like there's a real life. So think about it this way. Let me take what you just said. Okay. I think it's a good starting point. Toe Mater as a real person, was a real person. He had this special truck, which is actually looks like the And then he Mater. died and became the truck when the truck crashed into him? No. It took a really dark turn <laughs> that I was not anticipating, but I should have known you well enough after being married to you for 10 plus years that you go dark real fast. <laughs> so that was my point. Because think, Pixar is all about the feels, right? So you have this yeah. like truck that's this guy and he gets his nickname is Toe Mater and that's where they got the kind of connection there. I don't know. That's just... Oh, oh, because he used to, he used to tow tomatoes around. He was a farmer. Let's go back to my Woody idea because I think that's the best idea. But think about this. Obviously, you think it was no, no, no. But, but think about this. A West. We haven't seen a Pixar Western yet. Like we've seen space. There's good reasons. We've seen space, dinosaurs. We've seen cars. We've seen you know all these things. Okay. We haven't really seen a true like Western in the Pixar format yet. And I think that's the a good format to go. And look, think about all the merchandising that you can have. The who? Merchandising. It's from Spaceballs, the movie. It's a parody of Star Wars. Oh. Have you not seen Sp Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, you can't even be mad about me on that because it's not Disney. So you can't be mad that that I haven't seen it. Unless, is it part of Fox and now Disney? No, I don't it's, think so. Literally, you have to question our existence now because of Disney buying literally everything. I mean, that's very Does it own monopoly. you at this point? Well, it owns all of my money since that's, that's where true. it goes. <laughs> That is true. So Woody, I think, is an obvious point there, like way to go. I like your tomato idea, just you needed to kind of flesh it out a little bit more. But see, that's why this is good. That's why this is between our eyes, because you're the creative one, I'm the practical one, and... The one that likes death and destruction. No, 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 no. no. I'm just practical. All right, well, let's, let's take it a step further then. Okay. Let's maybe, let's do another franchise here. Incredibles. See, I was actually so thinking listen, that, but how do you, zone. you're you're missing the point though. We're we're trying to take the movie characters and do something different with them, other than tell another part of their story. Does that make sense? Because the buzz thing is not about the toy, so right. you would need to take the heroes and do something different with them. So, what about this? A kid who reads the comics of The Incredibles. They don't actually exist, but somehow like he imagines them, they're real, and they like come to life in his mind or something like that. Think Inside Out with The Incredibles. I don't exist. think I understand this at all. I, I, you clearly don't. <laughs> this is not an exercise. that I, I had a feeling it was gonna go this way. <laughs> So then don't ask me. I'll just, I'll play off of what you that, say. That's good. That's good. All right. I think that's a, so what's another one? You, you give me an idea and let's go. I just it. said you do it and I'll play off of what no, you no, say. No, 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 no. That's a good starting point. You say one that you'd like to see a spinoff of. Edna see Mode. Okay. So how would we do Edna Mode here? Now, honestly, off the topic of where, where we're kind of going this route, I would like to see like an Edna Mode movie just personally because I, like I want to see like all the superheroes that she worked with and how many times she said no capes, you know? No capes. That would be a good one. No capes. So you kind of already went the cars route because I thought that was a, like a logical conclusion. Instead of them being cars, have the humans, but you have them driving those types of cars and, yeah. you know, we could see Lightning McQueen, you could actually see the humans say ka -chow, as opposed to the Lightning okay. McQueen himself. Uh, I try, I'm trying to come up with an idea for... Uh, Finding Nemo. Well, it's already been done. Right. Finding Dory. Well, again, that's a spinoff about the current characters taking the characters, okay, the Darla. concept. Ooh, that would be like a horror movie. Not mad at that. That would be a, that would be. Okay, the dentist. No, no, but still, like that's a, that's actually a good idea with your darling thing. But that would be like a how many how many fish has she killed today? Exactly. <laughs> you ever notice that it's when she does that, it's essentially like the psycho thing. Yeah. That's just. 
I've never been creeped out by a CGI character more than I have Darla, to be honest with you. Yeah, honestly, I've never been so grateful that she's not my child. What about a spinoff off the characters or the concept of Finding Nemo about someone that gets lost out at sea and he's visited by these fish that are actually... But they're not. They can, they're just actual mm -hmm. fish, but they mm -hmm. look just like mm -mm. all the characters from Finding Nemo. That's Nimo. too. That's almost like it. Kind of reminds me of Luca. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You know, like Luca was a human, but he was also a fish boy or something. A mermaid, or a, a serpent, sea monster. Sea or, monster. Sea monster. That's what he was. A sea monkey. <laughs> I was thinking, well, if you fish will. boy, sea monster, whatever. That's what it's. You know, and then he lived with the sea monsters, and then if so became facto, a boy. And, Another one I just thought of, and I was thinking about this earlier when I was thinking about this topic for us, Coco. Okay, so you've already you done, love Coco. Well, oh, it's the best Pixar movie of all time. Don't at me. It is. Don't you start. I didn't say that. I know you. You get on me every time I say that. It's the best Pixar movie I did not say ever. The word. Ever. Instead of obviously telling the story of the afterlife, tell the story of... Before they're dead? Well, what, I forget the guy's name, the villain of it. You know, he became this big music star. Right. Tell, like, that version of that. Okay, you know, like, okay. I know that's a little bit more what we were going with about just expanding upon the characters. Which you there. said I couldn't do. That's true, and I know, but it's kind of what popped in my head at this point. We're just riffing at this point. That's what's happening at this. All right, so we've done Nemo, Toy Story, Cars, Coco. Let's do one more each. This, you know, we did Incredibles. I don't know any more Pixar movies. Yeah, you do. Um, Onward. Onward. How would you do Onward? I don't know. Is that a Pixar movie? It is a Pixar movie. What about that dragon thing? You could do something. Or you could do the dad when he was still alive. Duh. Oh. Mm. Or you could tell, like, remember, because at the beginning they said the time of wizards. Right. And, you know, when it was actually not right. modernized, you could do that a little bit. And I was trying to think of something you could do with Monsters, Inc. But I don't know that you. Boo, all grown up. <laughs> now it's just turned into true spinoff movies. But anyway. That's kind of oh, no, where our minds mean. have gone at this. <laughs> Jessica clearly didn't get the concept of it overall. But we'd love to know from you, what do you think about just the concept of Pixar spinoffs? What would you like to see them do? Because obviously they're doing Buzz. Yep. And that's going to be obviously exciting. probably an exciting thing there. Would you like to see a Woody one? Yes. Everybody is the correct answer. Would you like to see something a little bit different or off the wall? Let us know down there in the comments section below. Let's keep the conversation going. What else should I do? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on that notification bell, like I said, so you don't miss any of our content. And that's all we have for you in this edition of Eye to Eye. Until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.